Hello there. Um, in this lesson, um, we're looking at finding the whole values from rates. Um, just uh, to remind us um, what was uh, the meaning of a rate, um, we know that the rate relates to quantities and shows how fast the first quantity changes when the second quantity changes by one unit. Uh, say if you got a factory which makes 50 bicycles in one day, we write it as 50 bicycles per day and what it means we have for each day this company builds 50 bikes and here um, the number of bicycles or so bicycle served is the first quantity and day is the second quantity first quantity and second quantity So what you want to do in this lesson is, well, that is the rate, but what if I want to see how many bikes a company makes in a month, for example? What do I do? I know how many it makes in one day, but how many it makes in a month? It is obvious that if the month is 30 days, so the company will make 30 times as much. So we times the rate, whatever the rate is giving us, by 30. So it will be 50 times 30 bytes, which comes to 1,500 bytes. So the rule is we need to times the rate in this case, for example, 50 by the quantity of the second, uh, by the number of the second quantity. Okay. So we can um, look at another example. A postman delivers 25 mails per hour. How many mails will he deliver in a shift of 8 hours? All right, what we can do is uh, we can say, all right, that's the first quantity, the number of mates, and the second quantity is the time, hour. So 25 mates per hour, so in one hour. I'm just writing 25 mates and one hour. So again, remember, first quantity, second quantity. Now, they are talking about eight hours. So I write 8 hours here too. Then I ask myself, how can I get from 1 to 8? Obviously, I need to times by 8. You times 1 by 8 to make it 8. But if you times this one by 8, you got to times this side also by 8. So that becomes 25 times 8, which becomes 200. So the postman will deliver 200 mails in 8 hours. So basically what is done, we times the number of rate, the number that we have in the rates, which was 25 per hour, 25 mails per hour, that is the rate. We times it by the value of the second quantity. The first quantity is made, as we said, second quantity is hour, and the second quantity is now 8. So we times that 25, the rate, by 8, which was the uh, second quantity, and we arrive at 200. That is how we find the total value from the rate. So I can write it here. So if you don't want to go through this process, what you can do is um, can say um,
total value is equal to rate, which was like in this case 25, so rate, multiplied by the second quantity. So whatever they have given us for second quantity. In this case, it was 8, because they asked us how many maize is delivered in 8 hours. And that is the end of this lesson. Thank you very much for your attention.